Welcome to Adak Star YouTube channel here is your local farm girl from Adak in Essex saying hello to you. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to come to all my fans and I thank you so much for putting me through all this year, sticking up with me. Sometimes it was not easy for me, but you are there with me always watching my videos and thank you so much. Yeah. It is Christmas. We um, it is now coming to half past six in the evening here in the UK, and uh, we didn't have a white snow this year. We have a rainy, a rainy Christmas. We did not have a white snow Christmas, white Christmas rather. We didn't have it, so it's um, it's warm. Global warming is still affecting everywhere. Yeah, just a little message, a little message for for me to my fans and to everybody who is watching this. Um, in life, we have to be good to each other. And um, to be sincere, if you have grudge with people, you you are stopping your blessing. Even if somebody has done you really bad, just ignore it and. They said, do good, and the good will come back to you. If you have grudge, that grudge inside me. Me, I was, of these few months, from January to now, I've been having bitterness, a real bitterness in my, in, in me, within me, a real bitterness. But um, today, I listened to my mentor, um, Pastor Ibrahim Joshua, he said, you should do good, and Christmas is love. You should love. And then you should not have bitterness within you because um, that one will stop your blessing. Yeah. So a message to everybody. Just love, and let love lead in the everything you do. In my life, I've been buying love. I don't have anybody who loves me with the heart. I've been buying love. I buy love. I buy so that they give me back the love. But anyway, let that one go by the other side. But in this life, in this life, what do we want in this life? Hmm? What do we really want? Because me, I've, and I've failed to understand this life. <laughs> when you are okay, you have a lot of people surrounding you because they know they can get something out of you. But when you are not okay, you see everybody be standing themselves, excusing themselves not to be with you. <laughs> and sometimes, you know what? I just laugh and I say, I wish they started in early. But now, in my case, they started very late. It is still late now. There's nothing I can do. I have remained with that friend. I have remained with that relative because I don't have this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you should do things what you want somebody not to do to you. Do things, what the, something which you don't want anybody to do it to you. But when you do things which you don't want anybody to do it to you, but you are doing it to somebody, does it make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Anyway, my message is to do something which you you don't want anybody to do to you. I don't know whether I'm doing it. I'm saying it properly. In my language, they say, Tim Jimmy ma impe mira ni nga temo no timi. O timi kumi. Nyo ke tiga boko ni nga temo ni. Bok lok ma ini nga ini. Ka ki boko ki nga te ki boko something. Ki boko ki nying in bot nga temo ni. How would that person feel? I don't know whether it makes sense. Do something 
which you don't want anybody to do it to you. And you are doing it to somebody. Eh? If you are keeping quiet not to talk to somebody and you think that person should talk to you, does it make sense? You are keeping quiet but you still want that person to talk to you. Does it make sense? With my age now, I'm 50 plus. I'm almost clocking 60. Do I really need people like that in my life? People who pretend to love me. Do I need them in my life? No, I don't. Where I'm right now, I don't. If you don't like me, stay away from me. Just stay away from me. If you don't want to talk to me, I'm not going to talk to you either. But not in a bad way with me. I'm not going because it is you who is having grudge on me, not me having grudge on you. So I'm clear. My concern will be clear. I'm not going to be force, forcing people to talk to me. For what? Huh? And at the end of the day, they are just little young people around, younger than me. And I should be, at least if somebody who is older than me, like, like back home, if my big brother keep quiet, I will force myself to talk to, to him because he is bigger than me. But not if people who are younger than me. You don't want to talk to me. It is you who is having a grudge with me, not me having a grudge with you. <sighs> In this world, before you die, you see a lot of things. And sometimes you regret, but <laughs> that's part of life anyway. And that is the message I'm giving to people. Don't do things that you don't want other people to do to you. And do good, and do the good you have done will come back to you. Yeah? <laughs> I'm just so happy in my little cocoon here. Very happy. Today, I thank God so, so much. I was just there listening to my mentor, the late T.P. Joshua's message, plus uh, Mommy Evelyn Joshua today. I listened to their message, and really, it has built my spirit up. I will, I've been so down and really asking God, why, why, why? But from yesterday's message from um, Mommy Evelyn Joshua, it changed my, I just felt Holy Spirit entering me. I felt something entering in, in my heart. I felt the pain leaving me a little, uh, uh, not a little bit. D.B. Joshua said, you can pray and the, uh, Jesus can heal me, but when you keep saying, oh, I'm still having this pain, you the pain won't go. But you have to believe. I believe that I'm going to be healed. I believe that I'm healed. Not going to be healed. I believe I'm healed. I believe I'm healed. It is just a matter of time. I believe I'm healed. And I'm going to be okay. And I'm going to bounce back. This 2024 it is my year to prosper it is my year to prosper and I believe and I claim it I claim it with my two hands it is my year to prosper by May I will sit back here and remind you that I said it today and I will remind you how prosper I will be that time I believe it and I, I, I claim it I'm going to start prospering, prospering rather, sorry, prospering in January. That the, this coming year is my year to prosper, is my year to, to claim good uh, health, is my year to change my story. I want to change my story and I want to shame the devil. I want to change the story about myself. In my family, that they say that nothing will come, nothing good will come out of me. I'm going to change the story. Thank you so much. And let me 
to remind you again, let love lead in everything you do. Christmas Day, it is the, the, the word. God gave love to, for us because by giving his only child, a son, that is Jesus Christ. That is love. Jesus died because of us. And he died with love. And we should love. And let love lead. Bye for now. Let love lead in everything you do, guys. And don't forget to give the needy. Me now, I can't give anything. Because I don't have. I don't have at the moment. I'm just banking on my hobby. Without him, I don't know how I would feed. He said everything happened for the reason. And I thank him so, so, so much for caring for me and looking after me and giving me hope. And I thank you, my hobby, hobby. I thank you so much. And may God bless you for me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.